In other news tonight, and new tonight at 10, an unlikely photo showing two friends, one a Marine and the other a Muslim woman, is making the rounds on social media. And those photos were taken right here in Madison. Our Keely Arthur shares the message behind this photo. Keely? Lindsay Higgins and Tyler Whiting say at first they were nervous about taking the photos, but quickly changed their minds, realizing a message of unity is very important right now. Lindsay Hagens and Tyler Whiting grew up together in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. We've known each other ever since. And that's where their similarities end. I'm an American, Muslim. United States Marine. She converted to Islam as an adult after marrying her husband, while he served in the U.S. military in Iraq. We're completely two different people. That's why we get along so well. Yeah. It's an unlikely friendship, one they know is rare during these tense times. So they decided to make a statement and go public with it. She wanted to take a picture kind of demonstrating my patriotism, her being Muslim, and how before she converted to Muslim and before I joined the, the military, we were friends and we're still united. She's like, we kind of want these photos. I was like, let's do it. So I Tiffany Bex, a local photographer and friend of Lindsay's, took the photos and posted them to her Facebook page. They've now gained more than 300 likes and shares. A lot of the comments on my on the post are, you know, this made my day. This makes my heart happy. I needed to see this today. A message of hope and proof that when you take the time to get to know someone, you'll find you're much more alike than different. We are trying to demonstrate, like, we are united. So that's what America is based off of, and we need to, you know, grow back together. Now, Lindsay and Tyler might have one more thing in common. They are each parents of three kids. <sighs> Separately, though, they are just friends. Very powerful message in pictures. Keely Arthur in the newsroom tonight. Thanks, Keely. Thanks, Keely.